What is happening, Magnusites? Welcome back to another Magnus Answers. Now, it's around 1.15 in the morning. I was just about to go to sleep. And I was checking my messages. And I happened to come across a message that it screamed to me like it was kind of like a, it was a cry for help. Uh, make sure you all look at my description box for precise instructions on how to message me. But this person kind of messaged me in a different manner and it caught my attention. And here's what it says. It says, no filter and yes, no makeup. Leave all the hate comments you want. Getting this stuff off my chest and just basically not caring what might come my way. Yeah, I dealt with a lot and it always leaves me alone without anyone to support me. Mainly the stuff I deal with is family issues, drama, and some other personal issues. Some days I act like it doesn't bother me and other days it does bother me. All the stuff I deal with pushes me to a breaking point and I have a strong feeling that the line is going to be broken. I get mad, oh, I get made fun of because of my looks and basically how I live my life. I'm just a country girl at heart. I love tattoos, piercings, WWE, rap, music, country music, metal music, scary movies, action movies, comedy movies, and making people laugh, although I'm not that funny. <laughs> well, if you make people laugh, apparently you are funny and doing stuff just to amuse myself. Just one day I want to meet someone who doesn't immediately judge me by staring at me and not even getting to know me. All this drama and whatever else I deal with, I can't take it anymore. It seems like everyone doesn't care about me, so I'm just going to stop trying. And it says, hashtag, no hate, no makeup, natural, internet, YouTube, metalhead, country, rap, rock. And I see someone already commented and said, uh, you do you, honey. Let everyone else's opinion roll off your back. You're beautiful. And I saw your picture. You are cute. And I'm sure that you're going to grow into a very pretty young lady. But what you're going through, I was going to let you know, is something that a lot of us go through that many people go through, more people than you know go through. And I know sometimes it can seem like if you are hurting that other people may not notice or do not care. The truth of the matter is people care more than you think. It's just that a lot of times they're dealing with the same issues you are and you don't even know it. Or they're dealing with different issues. You know, you don't even know it. As they say, Hey, I got my own problems, you know, and I think that sometimes we don't want to bring these problems out. We don't want to say anything to anybody. And if I were you, if you have a small group of friends or you have family members that you can confide in, that you can tell whether it's your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, your aunt, uncle, cousins, no matter who it is, or if you just got that one good friend. You know that one friend that you just frickin' frack with? The friend that accepts you for who you are? All your problems? All your flaws? Growing up, I had three of them. When I got to high school, finally, I had... I had I, I had three, but they changed. Okay, they, they, they morphed. It went, it went from a specific three to a whole nother three. It was just kind of interesting how it worked out that way. But there are always the people that I could talk to if I had to. And I'm just going to let you know that I've dealt with the same problems that you've dealt with. I've, I was made fun of for the way I looked, the way I dressed, the type of music I listened to, what I knew about pop culture, what I didn't know. You know, I was always the geek or the nerd or the awkward looking kid. I was always made fun of. Um, and it's very, it can be very easy for someone to say to you to let it roll off your back. But I know it hurts. Practice makes perfect. And with practice, I learned to let it roll off my back. It's a shame, but human nature can be very beautiful and it can be very harsh. 
And the fact of the matter is, while I have always thought that children and young people can be the purest form of humans and that a lot of times children can love you unconditionally, but a lot of times they can also be the ones that hate you, you know, the most, you know, they're, they're very easy to convince, um, of something stupid about you. Someone can say they don't like you. Then all of a sudden those, these other kids don't like you and a kid could be completely lying. Okay. We've all been through stuff like that, you know, where people just don't like you just because they don't like you. And guess what? It doesn't end. You get older and you still can get bullied. And I'm sorry that you're being bullied and you're going through this stuff. And that's why I say to make sure you talk to your friends and family about this, okay? Sometimes you want them to notice because you're maybe acting down or acting sad. Sometimes you have to actually say something, okay? So that people know that you really do need their help, okay? Because if you don't get some help for it, you know, I don't want you to do something drastic, like hurt yourself or even worse, because it's not worth it. Trust me. I was bullied in high school. And guess what? Now that I'm in the entertainment business and I'm on YouTube, I still get bullied. Every day people try to bully me off the Internet. OK, and I've <laughs> recently some of, you know, you've seen videos where people are trying to say that I'm lying about specific things that I did not lie about. So people fabricate things about grown men and women, and it's just something you deal with, especially if you're in the entertainment business. I learned a long time ago that you're going to be lied on. Uh, I saw a guy in a talk show and he said, you're going to be lied on. You're going to be told that you're gay and it's going to be something else. <laughs> and it's funny. <laughs> I've already been told both. I'm told that I've lied about things or I've been lied on already, even though I've told the truth. And I've been told that I'm gay, I, although I'm straight, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, you're not in the entertainment business. You're a girl, you're a young girl that's growing up, and but you're still going through being bullied, okay? So I tell you my experiences to let you know that I go through similar things and that um, you have to learn to ignore it. I understand that it can hurt. I'm at a point where I'm all, I'm pretty much bulletproof. Every once in a while, I get irritated by things, but I'm at a point, I'm 38 years old, I've learned to deal with these things, okay? But um, you keep liking what you like, okay? Because birds of a feather flock together. If you like metal music, hang with the kids that like metal music. If you like rap, hang with them, okay? Whatever it is you have an interest in, you know, talk to those people that like what you like, you know, because there are going to be people that are going to accept you for who you are. And the people that don't accept you for the real you, then get rid of them. Do not chase their their love. OK, I, I went through a period in time where I wanted to hang with the cool kids and I tried. I don't want to say really hard, but I tried, you know, pretty well to try to hang with them. And each and every time they kind of accept me into the fold, they, fold, they ended up rejecting me. And I'm so glad that they did reject me till this day because so many of them are doing so much worse than me in life. And I am doing so much better. I didn't need that type of influence in my life, okay? So, having said all that, now that you know that I've dealt with the same things that you're going through, okay? I've been made fun for my looks and every a lot of the stuff that you already named, okay? Don't break. Stay strong and talk to someone that you can trust, that you can confide in. And if right now you feel like there's absolutely no one you can confide in, then talk to a guidance counselor. Talk to some professional at school because you can get the help you need and the support you need so that you can deal with this bullying, okay? All right, I hope I've helped you. I will send you the link to my video just in case you don't watch me every day because I want to make sure that you get this because this seems important, all right? Everyone, post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think and give her encouragement. One million subscribers. Woo!